What's up, guys? Nightmare bringing you guys a game review of the Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, I only have positive things to say about this game. Uh, first and foremost, it's probably one of the best movie games I've played in a long time, and there's been quite a bit of them. You got Iron Man, you got Batman, for example, one of the best movie titles ever created off of a comic book. Example: This game is phenomenal. I'm going to get more into detail in the gameplay aspect. Stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm going to first start by saying this game's absolutely amazing. You have all of Manhattan to just swing around in, do whatever the hell you want to do. The city's yours basically. You got collectible comics, you got web slinging, you got uh, web rush. Web rush is a new feature that they added to Spider-Man games. You're basically able to attach and do anything to any environment in the game. Basically, the city's your playground. As far as combat goes, it borrows a lot from Batman Arkham Asylum, as you guys will see in the coming seconds, if anything, I'm going to have a combat. The web swing has been vastly improved. It looks phenomenal. Just swinging through the sides, everything looks so much more natural. You go near a building and your web just shoots out. It looks amazing. The city is more alive, more detailed than ever. Like, so much good things about this game that I can't really sum it up all in one review, but be honest with you, everything's fantastic. Like the combat here is using the free flow engine, using Batman Arkham Asylum, and the combat system is just fantastic. The way they developed it, it's truly something that everybody should play. Aside from that, the story and everything, uh, I'm going to be getting to that after this little brief combat segment. So yeah, thanks. The story, basically it's an epilogue to the movie, so if you want to wait for the movie to come out and then play the game, I highly suggest doing that since the game does spoil a lot of plot points from the movie, whether who lives, who dies. All I can say is the story lasts roughly uh, 8 to 10 hours, it's really great, great replay value. As you can see, you can go around collecting costumes, having better times, or just going around kicking the shit out of missions. The game just brings you overall bunch of fun in a package for only sixty dollars I highly suggest all of you guys pick it up it's a great game my verdict on the game it's amazing there may be a couple flaws here and there but that doesn't stop the game from being an amazing package definitely one for you guys to pick up I give it a uh, 9 out of 10 just because of how great it is and how much replay value there is in the package. Thanks for watching guys.